Hi, this is David Lowry, CEO of Bennett Motor Express, and with me today is Mr. Jonathan Cratcher. He's going to be helping me introduce to you the new Trail King TK80 ACS low profile step deck trailers that we just put in our fleet. So we'll just start from the front and work our way to the back. This trailer is a 53 foot low profile step deck with a 34 inch deck height. It's got an empty weight of 10,940 pounds. So it's very light and a very, very nice trailer. It's equipped with three different flag holders on each side for hauling your oversized loads. Okay, and one thing I'd like to highlight is the rating devices for the load securement. So we have our sliding winch track is set at 6,600 pounds. Each pipe spool is rated at 6,600. The pipe spool and the state pocket combined is at 5,000 pounds, and the state pockets by themselves is at 5,000 pounds. So uh, be aware of that as you're securing your load. All right. The other thing I'll mention is we have six sliding winches on each side of this trailer to help you with uh, securing your load. And as we're going down through here, I'll just point out Mr. Kratzer uh, securing this particular load is using uh, edge protectors for his straps. So it's very important so you don't cut your straps on certain types of loads, things with sharp edges and so forth. And you don't want a, a uh, frayed uh, strap on your load. All right, we're gonna to get to the meat of this, this uh, operation, which is a sliding rear axle, all right? And uh, everything is enclosed in this watertight sealed box here. We're gonna go over the operation of the sliding rear axle. So first thing we would do with this is uh, raise our suspension, all right? You just uh, basically flip the lever the suspension will raise up and uh, that inflates the airbags. The next thing we'll do is we're gonna set our, our brakes, our slider brakes, which is basically locking the front axle brakes down for the sliding operation. All right, next thing we're gonna do is unlock the pins. All right, so the pins were, should be unlocked and they are. If the pins are do not unlock, you'll have to leave them in the unlock position, get in your truck, move the trailer around a little bit, and they'll all unlock automatically. Here we go. All right. Now what I'm gonna do now, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip the switch for Jonathan on the slider lock. All right. So that engages, puts air on them locks. And you'll notice that when it hits the hole, the pin comes back into place, the axle is locked, and now he's ready for transport. Okay, in the case that your axle won't slide right away, what you'll probably have to do is, one, make sure that your brakes are set, right? And, uh, and that they're, they're set good. You got plenty of air built up in your tractor. If the axle won't slide right away, you may have to back up a little bit and, uh, and pull forward and just kind of shake it loose because they do have a tendency to hang up, especially as they get road grime and stuff built up inside it. So they will slide. Uh, for the most part, they slide really, really good and really, really easy, but once in a while, you will run into that problem. So beware of that. All right, next thing we do is we just uh, flip all of our levers back to the green to go position and um, once, it, once the airbags normalize out, we're ready to go. One other thing I will uh, mention here while we're looking in the box is our air gauge. All right, this air gauge gives, gives a guy uh, help on determining what his axle loads are. It's just a guideline, so you'll have to uh, get used to the air gauge and what it represents on, a, um, on an axle load. There is a sticker under here on the frame that will uh, kind of give you a help, helping hand on that. So like, for instance, if you're looking for 20,000 pounds per axle, you know that the PSI on the gauge should be around 60 pounds and so on and so forth. So it's a good handy tool, it's a quick reference tool, but remember to always double check your weights. 
All right, the other thing to notice while we're here is uh, there is a dump valve um, option on this trailer. Now, the only reason I would ever suggest using a dump valve, for one, is if you're loading something that's heavy, go ahead and dump your air out of it so they're not loading uh, uh, the trailer uh, just basically on the airbags. Dump it out, let them load the trailer, and then inflate it back up. Or you might run into a, 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 the customer's dock height being off of what you are, and you might need to dump it for that reason, but that would be about the only thing. All right, we've also included on this trailer a crossfire system. And uh, we all know that these 17.5 tires, they like to run hot. So uh, having the proper air in any tire is the life of that tire. It has to be in this black line right here that means both sets, both tires are properly inflated. If it's red, it means there's either a leak, a slow leak, or it needs to be inflated. So keep an eye on that. The only other thing uh, I've got on this trailer that I'll notice is the beacon light switch in the box is disconnected. As with all Bennett trailers, we put the power connection hot post on the back to run your beacon lights. All right, well, that's about it for the, uh, the Trail King TK80 ACS. Um, Jonathan? Thanks for Thank your help you, today. Yep. We appreciate you. Be safe out on the road. Good job here on your load securement. Everybody out there, have a great day and a safe day. Thank you.